Hey Faith family, welcome back to my channel. Um, all right, so today, as you saw from the thumbnail, I am gonna be talking about dreams. Um, so these are not the conventional type of like, oh, when I was little, you know, this is what I dreamed of doing or my dream wedding, nothing like that. Um, this is actually about like actual dreams that we sometimes have and you know, what do they mean? What does the Bible say about these things? So I had a super, like super long dream yesterday morning. I woke up and I messaged my friend and I was like, I had a super long dream about you. And I gave her, I sent her a voice note that was six minutes long describing this really lengthy um, dream that I had. So I won't go into the dream of course, but I just wanted to, I shared it with her and she was kind of like, oh, I never really thought of dreams as being kind of like significant or whatever. And I'm like, what? Like to me, dreams are super significant. There's been so many times where um, I've had dreams and I didn't, they didn't make sense to me, but then, yeah, I would, I would message people and be like, oh, I had a random dream about you. And then, um, yeah, my one friend, I had a dream about her once and she was like, uh, in it she had moved and she's a she's a farm girl but she moved into the city and in, in this dream and so i messaged her, i was like ha, ha ha like as if you'd ever move into the city and she's like actually like a few months ago i left my husband and i do live in a different city now and stuff like that and i was like whoa okay i didn't see that coming and then um this other time i had a dream that i was riding a motorcycle and i fell down and i hurt my right leg i've never desired to be on a motorcycle in my life uh, nor do i but um yeah, I was like, that was random. So I told my husband about it because he wants a motorcycle. And I'm like, Look, listen to this dream. And he's like, maybe it's prophetic. And I'm like, I know, I don't think so. And then I get a message from um, my friends, uh, from this lady from this Bible study that we were a part of. And she said that uh, this one girl's father-in-law fell off of a motorcycle and hurt his le right leg and they were asking for prayer. And I'm like, what? That's so random, you'd think, right? But I don't know, God speaks through dreams, right? I mean, we see it from Genesis to Revelation. I mean, with John's uh, vision or dream or whatever, I, I don't know, it's not 100% clear on what exactly it is, whether it's a dream or a vision. I was doing some research and it kind of seems to go back and forth. So, but um, we know that God speaks through dreams, right? We see it all throughout the scriptures. And so in Matthew 27, 19, in the Amplified, um, Pilate's wife warns her husband. She says, have nothing to do with that righteous and innocent man. For last night, I suffered greatly in a dream because of him. Um, that's Matthew 27, 19. And uh, so that's a warning dream, right, that she was having. And um, and we know that in, in Genesis, um, with Joseph, he talks about, uh, like he's, you know, going around interpreting dreams for people. So Genesis 48 in the NIV says, we both had dreams, uh, they answered, but there is no one to interpret them. Then Joseph said to them, do not, do not interpret, sorry, do not interpretations belong to God. Tell me your dreams, he says. So, you know, many times he interprets dreams for people in, in, uh, in Genesis and, um, and they're really profound, right? People are really perplexed by these dreams that he's having. And, and he even had dreams. And so he's basically saying like, God is the interpreter of dreams, right? So when I told my friend this dream and how lengthy it was, and then she was kind of like, oh, I don't really see anything significant. I was like, I see so many things that are significant, but at the same time, I'm not God, right? I don't know the interpretations to these dreams. And the Bible says that, you know, that God is. So we are to ask him, like, what does that mean, God? And I've done that many times where I'd have dreams. And so I always write them down in my journals. And then I'll ask God about it. Like, God, what's that about? And then sometimes he reveals it right away. Sometimes it's like many years later. And I'll be like, whoa, I did have a dream like about that. And, and there's been so many instances like that, that I can't even tell you about them. So, but I just encourage you, write your dreams out. Um, don't think of them just, I mean, sometimes we have silly dreams and just, they just seem like nothing or whatever. Obviously I'm not sitting around writing those. Um, but you know, it does say in Acts, um, Acts 2.17 and Joel, and, he, and in Acts they're quoting Joel from Joel 2.28. Um, and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. So 
I'm not an old man, but maybe you are. And maybe you're having, you know, these prophetic dreams um, or, you know, profound dreams. Um, or maybe you're, you know, like a woman, like, uh, you know, uh, Potiphar's wife, right? Who has like warning dreams or God, spe- you know, spoke to so many people throughout the the Old Testament too, just to give them warnings. Okay, get up and move. Like, you know, um, Mary and Joseph, right? Uh, he He came in a dream and said, you need to go. So there are lots of instances, instances where we can do that. I mean, nowadays there's dream books and there's dream whatevers, right? Um, but, you know, we're not God, right? And, and the Bible says that he is the interpreter of dreams. So, yeah, I just encourage you to think about that and, and see what that means to you. My husband thinks I'm crazy. He thinks I look far too into dreams. But to me, because I've had so many significant ones, um, I write them down personally and I just... Um, Kind of just leave it right with God and then and let him reveal to me what he wants to in his own timing. So anyways, um, that's all I want to say for today. Um, also, I'm changing it up at the end. I want to now say that um, don't forget that the God of love loves you. So I'm changing it up a bit. So don't forget that. Okay, bye. Have a great day.